Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the air cleaner back on and uh, the engine is actually running. Uh, it's idling a little on the low side. I still need to adjust the uh, that to some degree. But what it turned out was the reason why she was running so crappy is because, and I don't know if you're going to see it because the light is really awful in here. There's a, a PCV valve. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my trusty, trusty phone camera light. And I'm going to give you some light here. Hold on. Thank you for your new subscriber here. I guess I got a Charlie Carnes just subscribed to me, uh, which is awesome. I'm going to turn on the flashlight. There we go. So, I'm going to get in here, and this little valve, this little vacuum line right here uh, was hooked up, and it was not hooked up to the actual um, front of the car. So what was happening is I had a huge vacuum leak, and it just caused this um, carburetor to not <laughs> run at all on low idle. It was just sucking in so much air and the uh, idle mixer screws were set, you know, for obviously having a real, you know, vacuum. And so basically it would just die. It had so much air, no fuel, and it would just conk out. So repeatedly I was like, wait a minute, something's going on here. So I rigged up, I don't even know if it's here, but I rigged up a, a length of hose with a bolt in it. I think I'd have it here somewhere, splitting and flying around. Um, so basically, you know, I had this thing running, and uh, oh, we're gonna put that in here in a minute and hook everything back up. He's running at about seven here, not too happy that he's walking around there, but in any case, so I got my gauges, gauges here, I'm gonna get the light away. Charging great, not squealing anymore. Oil pressure is pretty decent. The vacuum's up there pretty good. And uh, yeah, I got an ant. I just got to get rid of him. But anyway, so the vacuum's doing pretty well. I'm going to try to climb into the uh, driver's seat here. <clears throat> One second. So I'm really glad that this is running the way it should, but I'm going to just back off on the gauges here just a little bit so you can see them little bit little bit of a backfire there not backfire but just running a little less than smooth but she's running about 18 pounds pressure which uh, vacuum doing pretty well here we're gonna the rpm gauge here there we go she returns back to get about 17 18 pounds pressure and uh, does pretty well there which is good got the generator running just to get the batteries charged up and uh, we're doing pretty well here hopefully it doesn't backfire up into the into it but The, from the jets there, which is awesome. So she appears to be running pretty well. Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you that photo of the car. Number two is the PCV valve. That was the hose that was not hooked up. It was flipped off to the left of my engine area. And because of that, it just was starved for fuel because so much air was coming in through the vacuum valve. 
So if you make sure you get all your vacuum ports hooked back up the way they were, take pictures, take videos, whatever you need to do, and hopefully your rebuilt car will behave so much better and you won't have the mystery that I had trying to get my car to run properly. Take care and happy RVing.